I'm Richard Hooper and I've been an advisor for Research Design Service London for the last five years and for the last 25 years I've worked as a statistician on research in general practice, community health, psychiatry, as well as doing my own research on research methods. My experience is that statistics is a hugely important part of applying for funding for health research. The quality of statistical methods in your proposal speaks to the quality of the science, the rigour of your conclusions and therefore the justification for committing time and money to that research. Statisticians sit on funding panels and also review proposals for those panels and they're looking very carefully at what you've written. At RDS London we'll give the best advice we can on how to structure your argument, what to include and how to make the most persuasive case in terms of the statistics. Remember though that once you're awarded the funding, the RDS advisors will be long gone and you as an investigator are holding the reins. So you need to be confident that everything in your proposal is within the competencies of the team you've put together and the funder wants to be confident of that too. If your research hinges on complex statistics, for example, then you need a statistician on your team. One good way to achieve that, and this is particularly relevant if you're planning a clinical trial, is to persuade a UK CRC registered clinical trials unit to collaborate with you. They can link you up with a statistician co-applicant and also provide data management and randomization services that meet the standards of good clinical practice. They get a lot of requests for help, so it's best to approach them with a proposal that's already well worked up or that grabs their attention, and RDS London can help you with this. Ultimately, the statistical bits of your proposal don't have to be complicated. In fact, like everything in the proposal, they should be understandable and engaging. The best advice I can give is to tell a clear and logical story. Explain what your objectives are and why they're important, and then explain how your data will address those objectives. The commonest mistake is to fail to answer the original question.